First tonight, hundreds coming together to grieve and pay their respects to the memory of a fallen Apopka firefighter. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Austin Duran was just 25 years old when he passed away. He served the Apopka community for almost two years. Duran was hurt late last month after investigators say he was pinned while trying to move a 4,500-pound sand trailer at the fire station. He had been in intensive care ever since, but those injuries ended up being too much to overcome. New 6's Troy Campbell is live in Apopka tonight where the vigil wrapped up a couple of hours ago. Troy? Well, Lisa and Matt, the turnout was so massive. The fire department uh, blocked off the road in front of the fire station where the vigil was taking place. If you take a look behind me, you can see the memorial that they have set up here to honor the 25 year old. I know he's here and thank you all for being here. And I know there's way more Austin's army around us. Fellow firefighters, family and friends first holding candles then each placing a rose on his memorial. Over the last few days, I am sure you all have felt the rush of a lot of emotions, ones that you cannot clearly describe nor think there are any words that could do so. Right now, your sorrow-filled hearts and your grief-ridden spirits are struggling to make sense of this unspeakable loss. The Apopka Fire Department says 25-year-old Austin Duran joined their department in 2020. While at work on June 30th, fire officials say he was injured while attempting to move a heavy piece of equipment. On Saturday, the department confirmed his passing. And ever since uh, the accident occurred, uh, the outpour of support we've had from the community has been absolutely nothing short of spectacular and that's been proven tonight. Kyle Lamp is the vice president of the Apopka Professional Firefighters Association. He says Duran was an important member of their team. He was very likable. A lot of guys and a lot of the females in the department grew to like him real quick. You know, I had the opportunity to work with him quite a bit. You know, he was, he was a Halo fanatic. He loved playing on his Xbox. You know, so I know that's what he's doing right now. He's up in heaven playing on his Xbox, playing Halo, just smiling down on us. Lamp also says Durant's family is trying to stay as strong as possible while continuing to plan for his services. As of now, his funeral is scheduled for Saturday. Live in Apopka tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6. Troy, thank you. And as he mentioned, Durant will be laid to rest this weekend. Officials released this map of the procession planned for Saturday. It'll start at the Apopka Land Shopping Center at 1115. Travel down Orange Blossom Trail until noon. The procession will continue near the Piedmont Plaza at 115 and will move down 436, ending near Hunt Club Boulevard.